Greetings, my friends. Those of you who have followed Jesus Christ with me all these years, in this decade and a half I've been on social media as a pastor and watchman, you know I put a lot of stock in Jewish rabbis. Uh, I pray they find Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I know at least a third of them will in the tribulation, but they are connected uh, to God in a way that most people can only dream of. And they'll find Jesus Christ soon enough. But the top Jewish rabbi in all of Israel just said this. He said that America is fading fast. So Israel must become the world's superpower to replace her. And the Bible agrees with this rabbi, and thus I do as well. The Bible says in the tribulation that Israel will be the world's superpower. They will take out Damascus, Syria. They will take out all of their neighbors uh, all the way around them. They will take out Russia, Turkey, and Iran, and all the Gog Magog War Confederation. God's going to fight for them on that, but, but Israel gets the victory. And they will be the big world ruler. That's why the entire world will come against her at the Battle of Armageddon. And all you have to do is look at America. America used to be, which I call no more America now because it's no more. It used to be a place people loved. I mean, people would, would, would just would just love to come to America. Now they'd love to make fun of America and to mock America and to avoid America. Sure, we have a lot of people that still come to America because their countries are worse than ours. And they come here to try to get um, a new life and try to, to do something different than where they're at. For, them, for, the, for all intents and purposes, most of the world hates America, mocks us, and laughs at us. Look at what's going on. You've got all kinds of craziness going on in D.C., all kinds of craziness going on all around the whole U.S. and the states. You've got more wickedness, evil, filth happening everywhere than, than ever before. You've got more pornography, uh, child porn, molestation, abortion, uh, all kinds of, of, of sexual perversion all kinds of, of just wicked and evil stuff happening in this country like, like, like it's never been anywhere here or on the planet. And it is fading fast. This country is collapsing from within. This country is like a, a pair of pants that a bad seamstress just made for you. You know why it's like that? Because they're falling apart at the seams. That's what's happening right now in this country. It's horrible. It's sickening. And, and, and trust me, <clears throat> it's just getting started. Give it another month or two. You won't recognize this place anymore. This place has to fall because, again, you don't see this country anywhere helping Israel during all these battles that I talked about. And you do see this country in the Bible prophecy, although very few so-called prophetic teachers and students can, can see it. This country, the former America, uh, now no Morca, is none other than the great core of Babylon. Every scripture in the Bible points to this country, and it, it and it makes perfect sense because this country will be destroyed, wiped out instantly by God. However, God decides to do it, whether it's from nukes from other countries or whatever else, God will have this place, this this hellhole, wiped out in an instant, and Israel will be, will be on her own, except for God Himself. That's all she needs because God will protect her in the Battle of Gog and Magog. So you can believe whatever you want to believe. This this Jewish rabbi, this top rabbi in all of Israel, I'm on his side 100%. I pray he finds Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, but he is spot on on what's happening to this country and that Israel will indeed become the world's greatest superpower. Again, isn't it amazing how the Bible is just being fulfilled constantly? If you just open your eyes and look and see what's going on, you would understand that it's all right in front of our faces. It's all being written day and night right in front of our faces. But again, sadly, very few can see it because they're just spiritually blind. They don't have a clue as to what's going on. It just amazes me to see what I see in the in the in the the backsliding apostate church, Laodicean church of today, which is most of the church, and it's sad, 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 with a capital S. Make it a capital A and D as well. The rapture's upon us, my friends. And again, if you live in this country of of, of the former America no Morca. Get ready to fall apart. Get ready, Christians, to be persecuted like never before here and abroad because it's going to happen. You can mark my words. It's coming down the pike very, very soon. Within two days of watching this video is when the entire process begins in earnest. On January 20th, 2021, the entire process begins in earnest. of This country falling to pieces and Christian persecution here and abroad everywhere. Jesus Christ is everyone's only hope, my friends. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box. Go to video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much, dearly. And look up True Christians. Our different North and I we fly soon. Share this video, all my videos, all my sermons. I'm sensing relentlessly across social media. I thank God for all of those who follow Christ with me in my various ministries, especially here on YouTube. And I love you and, and Facebook and everywhere. May God bless you. Share. Take care. Bye.